Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you a tutorial on how to use a search bar with a list in Swift UI. Now this is what Apple just announced. Uh, we're using Searchable for this. So you will need um, iOS 15 for your target device and we'll be using Xcode 13. So go ahead and download those from developer.apple.com if you have not yet. But if you're already set up and you're already ready to go, then let's start a new Xcode project and let's get the going. All right, iOS, app, new project, next. Searchable, baby. Interface, SwiftUI. Save that wherever you would like to save it. Let's make some room here. Okay, we're gonna start out, what are we gonna search? We are going to search for let's uh let's say let cities equal you already know what state we're in baby columbus cleveland just making an array here we're going to spell it cincy because i always mess that spelling up and we're going to say bel air because it's where i'm from and then athens because it's disneyland and the funnest city in the world and if you don't go to college there i feel bad for you okay no offense if you didn't but you missed out all right now, what the search bar needs is a navigation view. So we're just gonna start out, um, the more likely scenarios that you are embedding your content in a nav view, but we are going top down here. Then we're gonna go list. And then what we need to do from here, we will have text, right? We're gonna have some type of text. We'll just say test for now, but um, we need to create a function that's basically going to filter our search results. So we're going to say var uh, results is um, of type string array. And we're going to say if, now we need our variable. We're going to say at state var uh, searching for is equal to empty string. Now, in our uh, results variable, we're going to say if searching for dot is empty, then it's going to be return cities. Else return cities dot filter dollar sign zero, which is just like the placeholder uh, dot contains searching for parentheses bracket. All right, so now we have that. And then for text, we're gonna embed this. We got some more embedding to do. We're gonna repeat, but in the for each, we're gonna say for each uh, of our results. And this needs to be identifiable. So we're gonna have to do comma ID colon forward slash dot self. And then item is going to become city. And then we're gonna embed this text one more time in anything. And then we're gonna change it to navigation link. I had it and it went away. For our destination or designation, as I like to spell it, destination. We're just gonna say text uh, city. And then for this text, we're just gonna make it city that we are getting passed through here now. We have them, we don't see our search bar yet. That's that's because we need to go one, two, three, or no, it's off of the list. Yeah, on the third one down, we're gonna say dot searchable. And then for the text, we're gonna pass dollar sign searching for our state variable. Only available in iOS 15 or newer. This will probably happen to you too. If you try to fix, this will allow you to do a version check and you can do that. I'm just gonna say, project settings, iOS 15, and the problem goes away. I said, and the problem goes away. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we can even add a uh, dot navigation title. We could say Ohio cities and hit play. And there's our search. And if you type in the letter T, there's nothing. 
because nothing starts with a T. But if you type A-T-H for Athens, then whoo! Halloween! Uh, okay, relax. So yeah, here's our search. You can type in whatever you want. Um, if you type C, we get our Cs. B for Belair, A for Athens. Theta does not happen, or neither does Ata, da, 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 because that's not a word, or Crumbus. Okay, so I don't know how to spell Cincinnati, and I never will, so I do Cincy. And that's a, that's a little tip from, from Uncle Logan. So if you don't know how to spell something, just make it your own. Fun little nickname version. Okay, um... This is one of many things that Apple announced in uh, WWDC. Swift UI is getting better. I will continue making these videos. Subscribe, follow along. I'm gonna, um, I like the smaller, like choppier, you know, direct, quicker format of tutorials. I will do some more in-depth ones, but uh, for these quick hits, I'm gonna keep them short. So we're at seven minutes right now. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see more, subscribe. If you liked this, um, Hit a thumbs up, you know? Hit a thumbs up, man. Uh, if you like my obnoxiously blue shirt, let me get a thumbs up. It was a gift, and um, if, if you buy me a gift, I wear it, whether I like it or not. So, they never know. I'm always just very thankful for gifts. So, hence why I'm wearing this bright blue shirt. Thanks for watching. Uh, stick around for more. I'll see you guys later.